All right, what's up guys and dolls? This is Brian Zach coming at you from Nashville, Tennessee. And I wanna to talk to you today about matched grip versus traditional grip. And which one is better? All right, so just disclaimer, this is my take on the two grips and advantages, disadvantages to both, and just kind of some thoughts that I have about the two grips and my experience with them. Now, let me give you a brief background about me and my experience with these two grips. Those of you who know me or seen me play probably know that I play traditional grip about 90 to 95% of the time, uh, whenever I can, basically. And this wasn't always the case though. I grew up taking lessons through all through grade school, starting when I was nine years old, playing match grip. And it wasn't until around my senior year in high school, excuse me, mm, so good. Around my senior year of high school is when I took a lesson with the great Jim Peterzak uh, who taught Dave Weckl, actually, in his former years. Um, Jim Peterzak from SUNY Potsdam, that's uh, upstate New York, came to my high school and gave me a drum lesson and showed me the traditional grip method and kind of got the fire stoked in me a little bit. I, I, I'll say that it didn't, it wasn't immediate uh, because I was pretty skeptical at first and I wasn't thrilled with the idea of having to start over uh, drumming with a new grip. It just didn't appeal to me that much, especially, you know, in that, around those years where I was starting to, you know, things were starting to come together for me. I was thinking about music school and whatnot. What ended up happening was after, after that lesson with Jim Peterzak, I went home and started practicing my lessons uh, just on snare drum, the different etudes I was doing, different rudimental uh, studies and exercises. And I was, I was doing all that with traditional grip just because it kind of bit, you know, it was just curiosity. It just kind of bit me a little bit. And I was kind of like, yeah, let's, let's mess around with this and see if there's anything to it. Um, it kind of goes along with the fact that uh, right about at that same time, I was listening to a lot of the jazz players uh, from the early 90s. Um, a lot of Dave Weckl, Vinny Caliuta, a lot of Steve Gadd. All of these players were playing traditional grip primarily, as well as I was just beginning to start to go back to the 50s and 60s years, checking out Elvin Jones and Roy Haynes. And again, all these drummers, Jack DeJanette, they all use traditional grip for the most part. And so I wanted, you know, in my quest to try and sound like these jazz drummers, uh, both young and old, I, you know, traditional grip was part of that, part of that journey. So I wanted to be like my heroes. So here we are, fast forward to today and all these years later, and it's just kind of stuck with me. I got really comfortable with playing trad grip and I started to like it more and more to the point where, uh, you know, I use it all the time whenever I can. Let's get into this here. Um, trad grip versus matched grip. Are there advantages to using one grip over the other? Does it matter? Let's start with matched grip because I think it's the easier of the two to learn and probably talk about. Popular drummers who use matched grip primarily, and that would be Gavin Harrison, that would be Bill Stewart and Rich Redmond are three popular drummers, very successful in what they do in using matched grip. Matched grip sounds like, like it is. The two hands are matched. They, they, they are mirror images of each other. In other words, what you do with the right hand is what you do with the left hand, at least theoretically. And uh, so this, this amounts to it being much easier to learn, especially if you're a beginner, if you're a kid or just never held the sticks before in your life, it's just much easier to hold the sticks like this. It's a very natural way to start playing. 
All right, so let's get into some of the attributes of matched grip. Symmetry. Both hands are identical and therefore symmetrical, making it easier to learn when you're first learning how to hold the sticks. What you do with the right hand, you essentially do with the left hand and you mirror image them. That makes it the easy grip to learn. Power and control. The hand is on top of the stick. This makes it easier to command the stick in a vertical motion and as well to prevent lateral motion from happening. This gives the player the maximum amount of volume with the possible advantage of making right hand and left, left hand strokes more even and consistent sounding because you're using the same grip and both hands have the hand on top of the stick. Lastly, for match grip, and I think maybe the most important advantage to using match grip is mobility. The idea that you can get around the kit easily from one drum to the next, to the next cymbal and so on. And this is especially true if you use or play a larger drum kit. And even more especially true if you use a setup with anything that's to the left of your hi-hat. So in other words, anything that would be playing over here would be much harder to play with the traditional grip, which of course is in the left hand for right-handed players. So if I had a side snare as a trad grip player, I would find it more difficult to play the side snare with trad grip just because, look, I have to open up my back and my shoulder like this and my, and my, my chest area just to get over here. And as, even as I hold my arm over here like this right now, I can, I can feel a tension in my shoulder and on down and into my arm. But with match grip, it's less so. Before I get into the attributes for traditional grip, um, I would like to just remind you to please like and subscribe to my videos here on YouTube and on Instagram, and that way you will catch all of my new uploads. Don't forget, I teach lessons, both in person and online. Okay, traditional grip. While traditional grip is much more difficult to learn and master, I think it can be hugely beneficial when it comes to playing certain styles of music that require a degree of finesse, of ghosted notes, of softer, lighter playing. It's my experience that with proper training and practice, the traditional grip can be just as powerful and loud as match grip. And if you learn it correctly and you aren't doing anything wrong to hurt yourself, that it can be just as powerful and, and, and strong, if you will. Um, as the match grip players. Popular drummers of the day that, that use traditional grip would be Keith Carlock is one, Todd Zuckerman is another, and of course, Dave Weckl. So what are the attributes of traditional grip? To start with, the non-symmetry, let's call it, or the contrast in the two hands. Now with traditional grip, you have a right and you have a left hand and they're different. They feel different. They might even sound different. However, I like this feeling, especially when I'm playing more creative and improvised music. I don't feel so boxed in by the symmetry of, of match grip. I feel more like I have two voices instead of one, and it makes playing more like a dance. I also think it looks really cool. It looks artistic. It doesn't necessarily, but I feel like sometimes it does give the player some legitimacy, at least to the, to the layman who are, to the onlooker, to the audience, to the uneducated, let's call them, <laughs> to the civilians who aren't drummers. Control and finesse. With traditional grip, the hand is underneath the stick, not over the stick, like with match grip. The hand is underneath the stick. And this gives a lighter touch just naturally because it, it makes it easier to play softer notes because 
the stick is sort of floating in the hand. This goes a long way for playing grooves with ghosted notes, drags, or rolls, and that sort of thing. It just kind of lends itself to an easier time, you know, playing these detail-oriented kind of grooves. Nuance. The ability to coax more sounds out of the snare drum just by changing the angle at which I strike the head. This goes really deep when playing jazz and swing music. There's a ton of nuance in those, in those styles of music, and it's much easier to coax out different sounding notes on your snare drum just by changing the angle at which you're hitting it. So in other words, if, I'm, if I play the snare drum from up here, it's gonna be a much thinner sound. Right then, if I flatten out the stick and I get a much thicker sound this way, is more more tip of the stick is hitting the, the head, and you're getting a much fatter tone just by the angle of the of the stick hitting the the drum head. All right, so you you can experiment with this at home and just see the differences in sound that you get just by lifting up the stick. Now I found that you know through watching Bill Stewart play. Bill Stewart is a match grip player, but I'll see him sometimes lift his arm up like this to get that kind of thinner tonality on the snare drum when, he, when he's comping. It's much easier to do with traditional grip though, just because you don't have to lift your arm up so high. And that angle is right there, readily available. Lastly, versatility. When playing rim clicks, all I have to do is just flip the stick over like this. I always play rim clicks with, with the butt end of the stick because the butt end of the stick is always gonna sound better than playing rim clicks with the front end of the stick. Uh, and last, uh, last but not least, when playing brushes, playing traditional grip is, is much easier because it's much easier to get a nice swish sound on the snare drum. Oftentimes I see a lot of match grip players uh, who will actually switch over to traditional grip to play brushes just for that reason because it's much harder to get a nice swish sound when using match grip because look my arm is way up here in the air and you're trying to get that pressure on the snare drum head well it's much easier to do it just this way and last 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 but not least traditional grip just looks cooler let's face it folks come on <laughs> All right, I'm trying to tell it to you here with zero BS. Take it from me, I'm a traditional grip player 90 to 95% of the time. Once in a while, I will find it necessary or just aesthetically more pleasing to play mass grip for whatever reason. And um, sometimes it's just a feeling and, and it's, it, look, it's just a preference. And, and the two grips are just a tool. I highly suggest every drummer learn both grips. That way you have another tool in your toolbox to use when the time comes to use that tool and you can be the judge of that. Um, so I, you know, I don't really think that there's one better than the other. I think they both have their pluses and minuses. And uh, for me though, I prefer most of the time to play traditional grip and that's just kind of my preference. If you want to learn traditional grip, I teach lessons and I do teach traditional grip both in person here in Nashville and online. So if you want to get in touch with me through my website, brianzack.com, or you can also feel free to hit me up on social media. I'm on Instagram and I'm on Facebook and I'm on Twitter. We can do Zoom, we can do FaceTime, we can do Skype, we can do any of those options. Last but not least, before I go, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and hit the subscription button. We'll see you on the next video. All right, guys, thanks so much.